How's it going guys? Dylan from If Cars Could Talk and I hope everyone's doing well today. I know I am because I'm at Pebble Beach Concourse d'Elegance in Monterey and behind me is a lawn full of concept cars. So first up is the Bentley Experimental 100 GT. This is something that unfortunately I miss driving around on 17 mile drives, so I'm a bit sad. But at least we get to see it on the field here and it's kind of just outrageous. It has the presence of a Bentley, but in a conceptual way, it looks like a concept. And look at the giant doors, giant wheels. There's no wheel gap really anywhere around. And I really like kind of the copper finishes all around it. And uh, well, it has this almost diamond quilted finish in the grill in glass, and it basically like molds into the headlights. It's it's outrageous. But for some reason, this is not like your typical stupid vents and wings everywhere type of concept car. It actually looks like something cool and different. So next up, and totally out of order, is the Porsche Formula E car. So Porsche has a long lineage of winning races, of course, in Le Mans. And now they're entering fully electric racing, which is kind of crazy. It's a cool looking car. Kind of looks like a stretched out F1 car. It's like a Le Mans car and an F1 car had a baby and then, well, they lost their engine and put a motor in it. As you guys can see, it's absolute madness here. Crowds of people, so I'm doing my best to show you the cars. I'm not incredibly informed on all of them either. So I'm kind of just giving you my two cents on them. So yeah. Right here is the BMW Vision M, and I don't know how I even knew that name. Oh wait, don't look at that. Uh, but this is pretty cool. So essentially, kind of has probably the dihedral i8 style doors. Not really sure what the intentions of it were, but it's really, really cool looking and uh, nice to see. And here is the rear of it. Wow, this is awesome. So this is a Volkswagen buggy, a concept of what I guess a new one would look like. I'd love them to bring this back, honestly. I think it would kill it in today's day and age too, where we have, well, let's be honest, people driving Resvani tanks and all these insane SUVs, six by sixes. I think this would do really, really well. And it looks pretty cool, honestly. It's got kind of a friendly vibe to it, just like the other one. It's got that approachableness about it all the round corners, the just jump in and go type of feel. I'm sure it'll be pretty good off-roading as well if they do make it. On to the next, and I'm gonna be skipping things like motorcycles and SUVs that already exist, but this is an Audi R8 LMS GT2. Yes, I read that again. Pretty cool looking though. Clearly a race car. And pretty cool. Next up is a crowd of people. I mean, sorry, a concept that's pretty cool that we're not really able to see, so hold on. All right, so I've actually been lucky enough to see this driving around a bit, but this is a Tommaso Automobilia, the Tommaso P72. Yes, I read that one again. And it's pretty outrageous. It sounded good yesterday. We heard it driving. It's a crazy metallic red. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Ferrari P4 design almost. Metallic red, crazy gold wheels. Looks like there's almost cameras on the wheels. <laughs> and, sorry, the interior is pretty awesome too. Wow, look at the rear of it too. Unbelievable. Right, here is a car that I've actually recently seen. So it's a Gunther Works and it's basically a fully rebodied 993 in carbon fiber. I believe this might be Dan MI's car and uh, it's pretty outrageous looking. It's a pretty, pretty uh, you know, that pretty 993 body, but you have a lot of the upgrades, like you have newer LED taillights, headlights, obviously the suspension, brakes, engine components. It's an older car that, well, looks old and drives new in front of it. So this is the Lotus Avija, probably pronounced that incorrectly. This is the fully electric Lotus Hypercar that Lotus has brought out to us and kind of looks like every other concept to me to be honest with you one thing I do like is it's like, like massive vents kind of cool looking uh, but supposedly this thing is gonna be wicked wicked fast and the doors are opening that's always fun Sorry, I'm having to film these in segments because there's so many people here, but this is what the front of it looks like. So, we are on to yet another Bugatti, and one that wasn't in that booth. I'm not going to try to pronounce it, so I'm going to let you read it. 
And basically, this was, uh, you know, it's, it's not a different Bugatti. It shares a Chiron engine, but it essentially was a commission from a client, just like you can do probably with some Ferraris. And it's to harken back to one of the historical vehicles that they had made. It's pretty awesome. As you can tell, it's got floating LED taillights, and they just keep killing it with these taillights, by the way. But let's walk around it a bit. As this guy said, the wheels are pretty nuts. This car is pretty nuts. It's insane. Briefly cover this Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster, part of a 63 limited edition, kind of a race harkened image to it, and uh, quite a cool car. All right, so again, not incredibly formed on it, so that's what these are for. And this is a Genesis mint concept, and you can probably guess why the mint's in there. It's in mint green, really cool looking. Kind of has opposite angled Lamborghini doors to a certain extent, and the normal doors are just in front. Very open interior. Pretty cool, simplistic, minimalistic, whatever you want to call it. Cool design. Here is the front of it. Yet again, separating the video. Sorry, it's just so crowded. Now, this one may not be a concept, but we can never pass by a Pagani Waira. This is a Roadster, and it's outrageous. <laughs> Another cool thing is because there's no luggage space in here, it has actually the luggage built into well, where the engine sits. Here is the front of it, if you can tell what the front of it looks like. It looks like a Swiss Army knife and that's what's so cool about it. Everything opens up. Here is a beautiful Zonda. Starting to appreciate these a lot more now that we're seeing, well, a lot more of these and a lot less of these. Some of these were even in manuals, which is just so cool. Screaming 7.3 liter engine from the CLK GTR DTM AMG. And, uh, just a really cool car. I really love these. Here's the front. I was just... Alright, so this is a Karma. It's a concept they've made. So traditionally you'll know Karma from Fisker Karma, but Fisker's been deleted from the brand. Uh, he was quite a genius, really from a design point of view. Not the best businessman in the world. As you can tell, he doesn't own the company anymore. Um, but uh, this is kind of a cool concept they've done. Pretty outrageous. Look at the carbon fiber inside if you can see it. Alright, so that is the concept lawn at Pebble Beach. And the key to me walking around this event with you guys is just not acting like I knew anything at all. Because let's be honest, it's hard to be on top of all these different concepts. I just try to give you my observations, my perceptions, and a little bit of the tidbits that I know about the car. But it's a really cool thing because you can kind of just walk in and, uh, and look at the cars without necessarily paying. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, give it a like. If you want to see more of my content, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.